write something. And perhaps you already have a whole book written. If you, for example, journal, there's a book in your journal. Or if you have been teaching something for a while, like what I did back then with the acting uh, industry, you have skills, you have knowledge that you can teach right now. Hey everyone, this is Kim O'Neill from the Every Day is a New Day podcast and live show, and you're listening to the Going North podcast with the hilarious Dom Brightman. Be sure to subscribe to his show so you don't miss any episodes, and remember, every day is always a new day. Today's episode is sponsored by both books, Going North, Tips and Techniques to Advance Yourself, and the follow-up bestseller, Stay the Course, The Elite Performer's Seven Secret Keys to Sustainable Success. Head over to Amazon.com, pick up both books. They are available in a trifecta of paperback, audio, and ebook. Cop all three of both and be on the lookout for another book from yours truly to help podcasters succeed. Now let's get on with today's episode. And today on the Highlight Reel Builder for Authors known as GMP, the great, glorious, and glamorous, the Going North podcast, we got another super special, awesome human for you today, my friends. That's right, indeed, because we are going to be in for a treat that's good enough to eat three times over because we got a fellow Toastmaster in the building, y'all. That's right, indeed. She knows how to warm the bread, y'all. She knows how to warm the bread, and she's also a fellow DTM, baby. That's right, indeed, to distinguish Toastmaster. So not only is the bread going to be warm, there's going to be wine as well because this wonderful lady right here i met her at a odd fest 2023 this year right after i was done speaking and i was too busy chatting with folks uh she already had her stuff ready to rare and to go and i'm glad i stayed because she is a boatload of talent because she's a fellow bookcaster y'all best-selling bookcaster because not only she written multiple books she's also a podcast host herself as well as a communication coach singer songwriter actress as well as a dynamic key note speaker indeed so you're going to get all of the alicia keys today so let's give it up for the sk herself the sensational and the kind the one the only sabine kabenberg how you doing today sabine I'm doing fantastic, Dom. Oh my God, what an introduction. Fantastic. <laughs> well, hey, you got fans. Got to make it fantastic, right? <laughs> uh, that's right. That's right. Well, thanks for having me. I look forward to our conversation. Uh, heck yeah, indeed. Heck yeah, indeed. And as with all introductions, no matter how fantastic they are, they're not allowed to be 187.93 days long. And I probably only covered, I don't know, maybe 0.3 days of how you got to where you are today. So since your first time on the show, mind filling listeners in on how you became the Sabine that you are today. Oh, my God. How much time do we have? How long is your show? <laughs> hey, if you want to go five days, you, we can go for five days. I like hearing you talk anyway, so let's, let's go. <laughs> well, let me give you the digest version. How about that? I'm originally from Germany. I was born and grew up in Hamburg, Germany. And my dream was always to become an actress and a singer. And after starting my career quote unquote career in business because i listened to the well-meant advice of my dad who said sabina find a job with benefits and a good salary so you can pay your bills right to have something left over to pursue your hobby by that he meant my my acting and singing career i did but i was unhappy and eventually and i believe that if we just follow our instinct and our gut feeling we will be guided in the right direction so so it was for me um i one day after i really asked the question what is mine to do i had this chance meeting with my former drama music teacher mr herbst who just asked me of if i still was active am i acting and singing and dancing and i said no and then he said one thing that literally changed my life that got me where i am today or at least set everything up to that trajectory and that was what a shame, Sabina, you are so talented. Bam, and that was it. That said, oh, I 
said to myself, he is right. I went home, opened up the yellow pages, which by the way, tells you uh, how far back I go. <laughs> and I scheduled my audition, got into an acting school, started my career and never looked back. And that really started everything to where I am today. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about indeed. That's what I'm talking about indeed. You're actually pretty darn entrepreneurial on top of that because uh, you got these books, you got these courses on top of that. And I know all that came after the acting too. And heck, my goodness, like with being able to really actually live your dream, to be honest, because you actually did all that wonderful acting and singing in general. Like what was that like? Because you were able to in race your dream and now you're helping others to do the same yeah exactly right it, it was fantastic it was wonderful i really uh enjoyed every minute of it i played wonderful roles like madame Thénardier in le miserable and a lot of german stuff that your listeners maybe not recognize but the point was i lived my life to the fullest and i did this for 10 years then I was a director for a German company, traveled the world, put some shows on around the world. World. I met my husband during a European tour, Fiddle on the Roof, or my now husband, not then, of course. And we decided we want to start a business together. And we do this in the States. My husband is from the States. And that's when we moved and started a performing arts school. In Virginia, that was uh, 29, 20, well, almost 29 years ago. And yeah, and that started everything. That started my, my, co my, my passion for coaching. First, I started coaching actors, singers, and then I got a lot of people who are interested in starting the career as an entertainer. I prepared them and got them in front of agents and casting directors. So I, I started their career and th through that process, I realized one thing, and that is that talent only was 20%. 80% is mindset and attitude. And so I started writing a workbook for my actors or aspiring actors. And later that turned into my first book called Secrets on How to Succeed in Showbiz, where I really focused on the process, your mindset, the thoughts, the actions, the planning, the goal setting and so forth to be successful, no matter what industry really. But of course I was geared towards actors. And then later I started talking and giving presentations and people wanted to have something to take home. And that's when I wrote Unlock Your Full Potential. Again, taking the, the the meat of my first book and really defined it a little bit so that it's geared towards everybody who wants to unlock their full potential not only actors and yeah that got me started to doing more coaching in this world and all then brought it together you mentioned yes i am a, also a toastmaster and that was uh in what was it 2010 I, since English is not my first language, sometimes, or well, back then, I still felt a little uncomfortable sometimes, say, well, do I say the right words? And I wanted to start my speaking career. And I thought, oh, joining Toastmasters would be a good idea. Just like do it for a few months, right? But little did I know that Toastmasters is a wonderful organization. And then I discovered that you actually can get your DTM. I think it's called something different now. But when you do all the tracks, all your communication tracks and all the leadership tracks, which is a really a great education, self-guided education. And I wanted to get this as quickly as possible. And I did this, uh, I think just like, like three, three years or so. I got this done and yeah and from there everything what I do now has something to do with speaking with acting communication being on camera the best how to present yourself and of course big part 
is the mindset. Uh, that's what I'm talking about indeed. Great gem right there indeed. Especially about that mindset indeed. And congrats on getting that DTM. That's right indeed. That's right indeed. Three years ago. That was, I think that was probably right before. Um, I think it was like like probably like the last year before you could uh, do it in the old system before the yep. old pathways came in. <laughs> and mm -hmm. it was yep. like, get it done now. <laughs> Don't be slacking <laughs> off. Or you're going to get the new fangled machine where it's like <laughs> you gotta start all over buddy <laughs> yeah yep that's right that's right yes. and you know the thing is too when i said something in in my mind i'll, I'll go for it and with with the dtm i just worked backwards i actually as you know the first the first manual in your speaking ma communication manual so like there are 10 objectives, right? So 10 speeches that you have to do. And the club that I attended, we only had one meeting or two meetings a month. And so, and I wanted to get this, I started in August, end of August. So I wanted to get it done by December. So I worked backwards say, okay, how many speeches do I need to give? How can I get other speeches in other clubs as a guest, right? And then the last, I mean, literally, because I want to get it done on December 31st. And literally, my, um, uh, the sergeant of, not sergeant of arms, uh, of education, right? She, she watched my last presentation on December 31st and gave me her okay so that I could submit it. So that was kind of cool. But yeah. That's how I do things. Get it done. Make it happen. That's right, indeed. And you're the make it happen type of lady right there, indeed. She likes to make it happen, indeed. So my goodness, so what led you to have that mindset to be able to get things done so we have all these wonderful accomplishments behind you? And I'm pretty sure you got a bunch more on the way, too. Yeah. Well, it really is a process. I wasn't born with that. We are not born with, okay, we get it all done, right? It's when once you discover or once you open up to the opportunity or to the possibility that there's more in life than just your, your regular getting up in the morning, getting to bed at night, right? When you discover that there's more out there to explore, then you start the process of personal growth. And once you start the personal growth, there is no turning back because you see what it can bring into your life, the aliveness that you feel with growing and becoming better. And that really started the path for me to become an entrepreneur and then become a coach, a teacher, and then the mindset of serving to really give and share what you have. And I truly believe we all are on this planet. We all came here to do something, to fulfill your destiny, so to speak. And that is part of my podcast too. Uh, my podcast called Become. And the premise is really, we have to become the person we are meant to be first so we can live the life we are destined to live. Meaning, yes, when you understand what you are capable of as a human being, and you really can unlock your full potential by taking certain steps. And one step definitely is continuously working on your mindset, grow your belief, your competence, and then you do what you love it doesn't matter what it is if it's acting if it's coaching if it's reading books if it, it doesn't matter as long as you use your gifts and talents that's been given to you by your creator you are on your path you cannot do anything wrong and what you share then with the world you know i believe would fulfill your destiny that's what i'm talking about indeed fulfill that destiny indeed fulfill that destiny indeed so my goodness so since you are an author of more than one book how was it like joining the business of immortality because you released that wonderful 
first book to help out those wonderful actors and actresses to succeed in showbiz. And then you got some other books too. So what made you decide to join the business of immortality? And is there any uh, advice or I guess uh, motivation you want to give aspiring writers to finally get to the other side of being a published author? Yeah, absolutely. Well, I believe it is different for each and every one. For me, it started out to let people know, give them something that they can work on their own, not just when they work with me. So something they have in their hands. And then I also realized, wow, it's like leaving a legacy. You leave something behind, even if you're gone. All right, somebody may pick it up 50 years from now, who knows, right? And just having that that piece of paper in your hand. I still remember when when I received my first book and saw the cover and everything was done. It was like, you know, uh, it's not quite the same, but it's like your baby, you know, you nourished it by writing every day in it and and creating it and building it and making it pretty and then you receive it you have it in your hands and this is a wonderful feeling that you have it's accelerating so if somebody wants to do something like that my piece of advice is don't wait just sit down and write something and perhaps you already have a whole book written. If you, for example, journal, there's a book in your journal. Or if you have been teaching something for a while, like what I did back then with the acting uh, industry, you have skills, you have knowledge that you can teach right now. And, and if you enjoy it, great. If you don't, then don't write a book. If you enjoy singing, create a CD. <laughs> well, nowadays we don't have CDs anymore. That was back in my days. But whatever it is, you can leave a legacy in any many different forms. You can create a course and put it online. That's what, what I help my clients do, course or coaching program or anything. So the sky is the limit, really. Woohoo! That's right indeed. That's right indeed. And definitely got to break those limits indeed. That's mm -hmm. right, indeed, because of being up, it puts you on the moon, metaphorically. That's right, indeed. <laughs> <laughs> That's right, indeed. She'll give you cat ears instead of a space suit. You'll love to see it. That's right. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, yeah. You know, also funny, um, before I wrote a book, actually, I created my CD because as a singer-songwriter, I... Uh, started writing songs for ch my church, not my, but our church services, because I was the music minister. And I felt I always wanted to create music that supports the message of the minister. So I started writing my own music and people started coming up to me and said, Sabina, oh, where can I get it? I, I would like to get your music. I would like to listen to it. And so finally I said, all right, um, I guess I have to produce a CD, right? And so I did, and I went to Nashville, which was an experience by itself. I, I booked a, a studio, and in, in literally two days, I recorded nine songs for my CD. It was grueling, but you know, you're on a budget. <laughs> and so, and I still remember, Dom, um, when I was then invited to come back and listen to the mix, meaning, you know, the full orchestra, the musicians, which, by the way, fabulous uh, musician in Nashville, as you can only imagine. And then, okay, of course, my, my song tracks, and then the mixing all together. When I heard the first song, I was, I was overwhelmed with Oz, and it felt so incredible that I created this, I created this music, I created the lyrics and the melody, and now it became alive, thank, thanks to also the musician and the mixing and everything. 
that was a wonderful feeling that I can only describe as you have fulfilled your destiny in that moment in time. And if you can create those moments more often, you have a wonderful life. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about indeed. That's what I'm talking about indeed. Oh, so that's pretty interesting. So helping out the minister with some magical music indeed. So my goodness, where are you in your faith journey at the moment? At the moment, I I see. It's interesting that you ask that because I work with, with clients who want to do this, who want to start their own online business, to, who want to have more freedom in their life, be in control of their lives. And that's what I did my whole life. And I see one pattern that keeps them stuck. Today, more than ever, there's so much information out there, how you can do it all by yourself. We are not starving uh, of, for information, but we are so in need of the right guidance. And one of the themes is like, okay, I have this idea. I, I know I have this knowledge. I have this wisdom that I would like to share, but it's so overwhelming with the technique and I have to have this platform and that platform. And then I have to create something for my email list. And then I have to create this and that and whoa, overwhelming. Now there are programs out there online, but what I noticed, including myself, is it's very hard to do it on your own and have the attention span and the time to do it on your own. And a lot of times it's being left behind or you cannot get through it. And then you look for a different or new shiny object. So I created a live event. Thank God we can do this again, uh, which is a three day live event. It's, it's a small group of selected people um, who are really interested in starting something and are serious about it. And I take them by the hand, so to speak. In these three days, we, of course, work on the mindset. I have a release and receive process that I went through myself to release the stuff that doesn't serve us any longer. Could be old job, old business, old beliefs, and then getting ready for the receiving process. Once you have that openness, then we work on the clarity, the vision and cl clarity of your offer, the, the lead magnet. And then, and here is the best thing. Then we put everything together on a platform. During that time, we help you write your script. I have templates. You just fill in. That's whatever it's pertaining to you. And then I also give you professional photo shoot so we can put up a good photo because that's what we did in our school, right? Video, introduction video. I help you get this together real, real quick. I've done it so many times. And then we upload it all on that platform. And by the end of the three days, you have something to sell. You can start selling it and you leave with a plan how to do it. And I even give you a one month bonus, like, well, if there are some other questions that you still have, you can ask me that question. Because I know sometimes we go away at any, from an event and then, oh, what, what's now? What was that again? I'm there too. So I'm so excited about it because I know it will help so many people to finally achieve what they want to achieve. Ah, beautiful indeed, beautiful indeed. Indeed, that's right indeed that's right indeed the whole 30 days afterwards too that's a good sign that you actually care about your clients too because you're so right like you go to an event especially if it's one of those events where they feed you with the water hose and turn on the content and then it's like oh god i need to get get some uh medication for this headache from all this content <laughs> <laughs> you're like ah oh, where the heck do i start do I, okay i do one thing and then it's like oh shiny squirrel <laughs> and then they don't do anything for the conference exactly exactly and this is what i've experienced myself so many times and i see it with my clients so i was thinking you know we have to do something different we have to just do something different and uh be not distracted 
though those online events are great but you still can be distracted by by your children by your pets by your hubby or whatever it is right or just something uh no i i have to go now right but if you are in the environment that is nurturing helpful you're with other like-minded individuals and together you can move mountains and that is where the magic starts to happen ah uh, there you go that's where the magic happens indeed that's right indeed so my goodness so since you've been on both sides of the microphone is there a question that you wish you'd be asked more often when you're on the guest side of the game on the podcast i've never thought about that because people always ask the right questions <laughs> And what I share is really from my heart. It's my story. It's it's nothing made up or a question that I've not been asked before. No, it's you 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 see what you get, you get what you see, and that is me. Sweet. That's what I'm talking about indeed. Well, obligatory podcast hosting questions set your fellow podcast host then. So what would you consider your three big lessons learned from starting and growing your podcast? That's a good question. Well, the first lesson <clears throat> is be prepared the right way. Because uh, four years ago, I started a podcast and I had no idea, no clue how to start. And I just went for it. And after, I think, seven or nine episodes, I ghosted it because I had no plan. First of all, why I'm doing it, what I want to achieve with that. And then the preparation. Oh, my gosh. Make sure you prepare and record episodes in advance so you have something in the can so to speak even if you miss a week you are not stressed out and that's what i did differently first of all know why and what then number two a when set a date because if you don't have a date it can be indefinitely okay sometimes i start no put a date okay and then launch P prepare of course do all the necessary steps to do this and then just get started don't wait to be perfect because you don't have to be great to start but you have to start to be great right so it's a fine balance make sure you prepare then you gotta start gotta launch There you go. It's right indeed. Prepare the right way indeed. That's right indeed. So true. A lot of folks be like, yeah, podcasting. Yeah, it's great stuff. I could do that. Yeah. And they get into it and then they're like, oh, shoot, this is a lot of freaking work. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed it is. And you have to be passionate about it. If you're not passionate about it, if you just do it because you think you have to, to grow your business because somebody told you, oh, you can make money with that, by the way you are not at the beginning at all but if you use your podcast wisely helping others the quote-unquote payback will come through different channels and sometimes even in unexpected ways so when you are passionate about what you're talking about and helping others then everything else will fall in place there we go. That's what I'm talking about. It'll fall into place indeed. So my goodness, folks may be listening thinking, man, I guess she just had it perfect all her freaking life with all the puzzle pieces falling perfectly into place. But I'm pretty sure there have been some setbacks along the way. So what would you <laughs> consider a big setback that actually became a big setup for success for you? Well, it was a big uh, setback was when I still had my uh, business, my performing art school business. And I was really getting a little bit careless. It was the, the real estate boom, right? It just was 
everything was booming. So, oh, I'm going to buy another property and we have a second location. And then I buy this house to rent out. And I was kind of drifting away a little bit from what was really important and what I wanted to do. Uh, and I was just focused, quote unquote, on the money and nothing wrong with with having money. Just I want, want to put it right out. But if you lose the perspective of why you do things and who you serve and what the reason behind it is, then it can go south, right? Not north, <laughs> but south. And so it was for me. And so and then the, the builder for the second location was not on time. And for schools, for the performing arts schools, you have to be in sync with the school schedule. If you start in the middle, you lose a lot. And so, well, everything came together. The real estate bubble burst, the uh, uh, builder wasn't ready. So we didn't get the enrollment that we needed to really sustain it. But most importantly, uh, the economy, the, the, the bottom fell out. Nobody did anything, right? Uh, little than enrolling into a performing, performing arts activity. So we had to make a tough decision and saying, well, we have to go and let go of one side of the business. So for, for the one side of the business, we had to uh, do a bankruptcy, right? The chapter 13, where you reorganize yourself. Luckily, that's there. But that setback, even though it was painful and we lost a lot of money, we lost our lake house because I was so careless by, oh, okay, yeah, you can have this as a collateral, right? I'm so much smarter now, but you learn from those things. But here is the best part. After that, after we went through all of this, as, as you perhaps already got the gist of it, of who I am and that I love my life and I live my life disregard of the circumstances, we actually, uh, before all of that happened, we were ready to sell our business and start traveling, you know, we wanted to do RV traveling the United States, but then everything fell apart. So the business that we had all of a sudden wasn't there. So we had to pick up the pieces, but we still moved. So I moved to the first time, not this time around, but first time to Florida, uh, to St. Augustine. And that year that we lived there, I think this was the least amount of money that I had, like the physical paper money, right? The least amount of, of wealth in that respect for money purpose, but the greatest amount of wealth as far as lifestyle and enjoying life. I was so happy there. We were so happy because we couldn't lose anything more, right? And we really started enjoying life again and we're not caught up in the rut race and that quite frankly started everything where i am today what i know what i can talk about what what i can coach about and how i can make a difference and how i uh perceive and live life today so that was a long answer but i think it was important to understand why a setback happens and then why this led you to where you are today. Woohoo! So I'm talking about indeed. That's what I'm talking about indeed. Yeah, it's always important to remind folks like, hey, it sucks in the moment when you have those setbacks and some may view them as failures, but hey, it's really just a lesson waiting to happen and manifest later. Absolutely. That's right indeed. That's right indeed. Well, fun question for you, and it's been interesting hearing some of the responses to this one. So if you're wonderful book, Secrets on How to Succeed in Showbiz, if that book were a food, what would it be and why? A food? Ooh, it would be a buffet because there were so many choices, and I would pick from every little thing. Uh, someone already knew that question was coming. <laughs> <laughs> that's right, indeed. That's right, indeed. All buffet, y'all. That's right, indeed. It's all you can eat. And the good news is, it's multiple day buffet. So if you have, if you're a glutton, you can eat the book all day for like ever. That's right, indeed. The mm -hmm. restaurant won't kick you out. 
Well, coming down to the magical question that every guest gets to receive, and that is if you're to wake up tomorrow and you were 25 again, but you're still in 2023, what advice would you give to yourself? Ooh, that's a good one. It's like, stay focused on your dreams, one dream at a time. Don't look for the shiny objects. And the second piece of advice I would give you, be smart in investing. Have a balance in investing and living life. That's what I would give my 25-year-old or (laughs) 23-year-old. Ah, there you go. That good advice indeed. That's right indeed. Make those wise investments, especially in that future. Indeed, that's right. Indeed, that's right. Indeed, especially when it comes to investing in yourself. And folks need to invest in themselves by signing up for this wonderful live event and buying a bunch of Sabine's goods as well before and after the event and keeping up with their journey. So, my goodness, so for those who need to do just that and more, what's the best way for folks to do so? The best way to go to my website, which is sabinekvenberg.com forward slash resources. And the resources I always have updated, free downloads, free stuff, as well as what's coming up uh, in the future. So just my name, S-A-B-I-N-E, kv like victor e-n-b-e-r-g.com sweet that's right indeed so we're going to put a link to that in the show notes indeed could have put a link to her site in the show notes indeed so that way you can keep up with sabine that's right indeed because she's always doing something new so that way you can stay in contact with her especially if she decides to write another book that's right indeed that's actually right you indeed. know what i forgot i have a third book well, it's not my book. It's a coll- collaboration called The Musical Imprint. And it's about stories and pivotal moment connected to a song. And I have my story in there, how a pivotal moment was connected to a song called Climb Every Mountain. And of course, it's from a musical. And of course, it's all about overcoming challenges and have a powerful mindset sweet that's right indeed so does that mean it's going to be a part two (laughs) maybe (laughs) Uh, well there's probably there's probably another book already brewing inside me just a matter when it comes out uh well we're looking forward to that wonderful stew that's right indeed Mm-hmm. That's right. It'll give us that nourishment. That's right. Indeed. It'll fill us up with that inspiration. That's right. Indeed. That's right. Indeed. The Sabine version though. That's right. Where it's stupendous and sensational. That's right. <laughs> indeed. That's right. Indeed. So my goodness, any parting words before we close up shop? Well, as I mentioned before, you know, you have to become the person you are meant to be so you can live the life you are destined to live. Follow your dreams, serve from the heart, and live the life you imagine. If you're hearing this part of the episode, that means you're one cool individual. Thanks a bunch for tuning in, and if you enjoyed what you heard, be sure to share it with at least one other person in your network. Bonus points for three. And be sure to check out the backlog too while you're at it because there are hundreds of wonderful episodes to choose from as well.